Before I let you out of here, though, today, I, I'd probably be remiss if we didn't talk about the diversion issue that uh, that you have engaged on and that you're engaged with the city of Fargo and the city leaders here on and, and what's going on there. I understand you met with those folks yesterday and that there's a hearing today to discuss. Tell us a little bit in your own words, because, you know, obviously some of this gets channeled through the political megahorn and not always directly from the source. What, what do you hope to accomplish? Uh, obviously, you put forward some amendments that have change the way that Fargo and Cass County can use some of the money. Tell me a little bit what you're trying to accomplish with the amendments that you put forward on the on the water bill. Well, the water bill, what I put on the water bill was said that the uh, that the money that we set aside uh, could not be used for uh, public purposes, I mean for, uh, for building a diversion, number one, until the federal money was approved. Uh, so it didn't say you couldn't do it. It just required the federal government to be in there first. And it said that we couldn't use uh, the money that the state was supplying to uh, to build uh, to buy out houses that are in the floodway. Well, uh, the, the, yesterday we invited in the city leaders and the county leaders and administrators as well, and we had a discussion with the uh, leader of the Senate, the head of appropriations on both sides, and myself, and Senator Grinberg from the who handles water issues in the Senate. And we had a list of questions, and we said, well, what is, what do you want from the state? And the end of that conversation basically said that, that they thought the state's obligation for uh, flood control and diversion would be about $450 million. We have already set aside $175 million, which we allowed them to spend on uh, flood protection, uh, building levees uh, up to 42 and a half feet in the city. There uh, really was no disagreement over being able to do that. Uh, the county has a concern. They want to do the first phase of the diversion on the north end. Uh, there's still some question about that. Um, there was some language that said you couldn't use public funds for any of this in my amendments. That was my mistake. That should have said state funds. We surely don't want to tell them how to use their own sales tax money. So we'll correct those amendments right away for them. Uh, we have been uh, matching funds on their home buyouts, uh, and, and we're going to change the language back to that because if we've done it in the past and they were building their budgets on that, I have really no problem doing that. But there's still a question is, how much money you want from the state, and how do you want it to be distributed, and should we go forward this pro with this project uh, without federal dollars or, or final approvals? And uh, they're having a hearing downstairs today. All sides are present. I have no idea what's going on down there. But it's, uh, it's a project that it is far from over. There's a lot of discussion on the water and the diversion, uh, buying uh, ring diking oxbow and buying houses and uh, building onto the golf course. Uh, the Bakke subdivision. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in there that, that needs to be resolved. We'll see what the Senate sends back to us, and then we'll conference on it. Well, and, and obviously some of this has been portrayed that you're you're against the diversion, that you're an obstacle to flood relief in the Valley. That's really not the case, is it? No, it's not. I've been involved in floods in 69. I've probably uh, fought as many of them as anybody in the Valley. I remember renting a payloader and hauling people into Fox Run and Timberline with my payloader so they could defend people's houses. I'd haul uh, people in and sandbags in, and uh, everything was underwater. Uh, and I watched a million dollars worth of the houses I was building and condos being uh, flooded. So I understand the flood. I think that the, the federal government has a role to play. I think it's very difficult to get their money. I just want the people to know what's going to cost them in the end. If they decide to go forward with this, there's a, a lot of dissension from the people both north and south of the diversion. I think the state has a responsibility to sort that out. You know, there's 700,000 people in North Dakota. I represent a district in Fargo. I understand who I work for. But on the other hand, I also have a, a half a billion dollars of money that we're setting aside for water projects this time. And that's B with a billion, a half a billion. And Fargo is getting over 20% of that. So we have made a commitment because of myself and Senator Grinberg and Senator Fisher. We've started a payment plan towards protecting the Red River Valley area. We'll continue to do that. I don't think it's too much for us to ask how they're going to spend it and what's going to be done with it. Well, and especially in light of the fact that, you know, while most people are optimistic that the feds are going to get into this, the reality is that what do you do if they don't? Are you on the hook for a $2 billion project? That's, that's the big question in all of this. So to certainly have some reservation in that regard is probably wise. Well, they assured us yesterday that whether the feds are in or out, all they ever want from the state is $450 million. 
I had put 325 million in because that was the original number we were given a couple bienniums ago as to our share of uh, half of our share of the preferred plan. Uh, I honestly have some concerns. I don't think Minnesota will ever bring their 100 million to the table. I have some concerns that the federal uh, people will not bring their money to the table. And I think the citizens need to know what it's going to cost them uh, for this diversion. Will it and do Al, good I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to interrupt you here. And uh, we're going up against the hard break. But thank you for being part of the show today. And thank you for clarifying that. Good to know you're watching out for the people and, and, the, and the money you got.